everyone, it's Mr. Montgomery. Today we're on lesson 2-6 and that means we're on page 77 in our robot turtle books. And so remember uh, the number 77, if we were to write it out, the first spot, right, right is our tens place. So we have seven tens and our last spot is our ones. So it means that 77 is 7 tens and 7 ones. Just remember, whenever we have a two-digit number, the first spot is always the tens place. And the last one is always the ones place. Okay, it's very important that we get these tens and ones down, because soon we're going to be moving up to 100. And uh, I want to make sure that we're fully prepared for that big 100 number. All right, so make sure you're on page 77. If you need more time to find it, Pause the video. You can do it by either hitting the space bar or using your mouse pad to click on the video and pausing it. All right, but if you're already on that page, we're just going to keep on rolling. Okay, all right, so as you can see, I already made a number line. So if you would like to make a number line too, please feel uh, free to do so. Or if you have one on your desk, go ahead and use that. And that way you don't have to, you know, Draw a number line. Makes things a little easier. And what we're really going to be working on today is subtracting. And I'm actually really excited that we're subtracting because we do a, a ton of addition. And you know what? What happened to subtraction? We need to make sure we can write a subtraction sentence and that we can solve a subtraction sentence on our own. So uh, if you guys know how to use a number line and you're very good at it, you're going to think that today's lesson is very easy and you might even have a little fun right? Sounds crazy. Fun and math. Who would have thought? <laughs> All right. So let's read this little story problem. And as we read, make sure you're telling me to stop when you hear something important, like, you know, a number maybe. Okay. There are five people on the bus. Wait a minute. Did you say stop? I sure hope you did because we did say, uh, read a number and that number is five. That tells us how many people are on this bus already that this little boy is about to get onto. It stops and two people get off. Oh, did, did you did you tell me to stop again? Good. And because we heard the number two, we gotta circle that. They're telling us how many people leave. That's pretty important stuff. Show how many people are still on the bus. So we had five people on the bus, two of them decide to get off, and we need to figure out how many people are left. So if we're going to write a number sentence, we need a space for the number, our subtraction sign, right? We know two signs. We know our addition sign, which is our plus, right? And we also have our subtraction symbol, which is just a line going across, meaning that we need to take away. So we have our first number space, our subtraction sign, our second number space. Then we must have an equal sign, our epic equal sign. We can't forget about it because that's what separates the whole sentence from the answer. Okay, and then we have our answer on the other side. So the first thing we need to do is figure out how to write our number sentence when we're subtracting. So the really important thing that when we're subtracting is that the biggest number goes first. It's kind of like the opposite of addition. So in addition, you have the biggest number at the end. In subtraction, we put it first. So which is the biggest number? Is it 2 or 5? It's 5, right? Because 5 is further down on the number line. So 5 goes first. And then... The next number we write down is how much we're taking away. Now, how much are we taking away from 5? Well, if you remember, we already used 5, right? So what number's left for us to use? 2. That's the number that they told us. Two people get off the bus. So now we have 5, and we're taking away 2 people. And if we want to use this number line to help us, because it can be a huge help. What we do first is, just like in addition, the first number we see is where we start. 
So on the number line that you have or on the screen, if you're using the one in the video, just point your finger at the number 5. I'm going to put a dot on it so we don't forget what number we're starting on. Then our next number tells us how many jumps. Now we've been jumping forward every time when we add because when you add you need to get a bigger number. But when we subtract they give us the big number and now this next number is going to tell us to jump backwards that many times. We're going to be jumping to the smaller numbers when we see this subtraction sign. So let's go ahead and do that. We already see the 5 and now we need to jump back two spaces to find our answer. So let's go ahead and do that. Ready? 1 and 2. Stop because we made our two jumps and we landed on 3. So 5 minus 2 is 3. And now when they ask us again, again, how many people are still on the bus? Well, we know the answer now. It's 3. So we write 3 on this answer line. All right. Uh, so if guys, if uh, we're ever doing any kind of quiz, I'm not going to knock off points if you don't write it on the answer line. If you write this full sentence, I will be super excited. And of course, you're fine. Uh, this is what I'm going to be focusing on, that you can write a subtraction sentence today and that you can solve it. All right, let's go ahead and jump to page 78, and we're going to do a couple practice problems together. Here's page 78. This is where we are now. And at the top, they show us how to subtract using a number line. Uh, if you want to check it out real quick, it shows that first we have our big number is 7, right? So they started at the 7. Make a little dot right there if we want. And the next number tells us how many jumps. There's two, and they make two jumps. One, two. And we're going backwards to the small number because we're taking away. And they landed on five. So seven minus two equals five. All right, that's, oh, let me make a better five. And that's all we're doing. So we're using the number line just like we always did, but instead of going forward, we're jumping backwards. So whenever we see a subtraction sign, we have to make sure we jump that way. Okay, right where I'm pointing the arrow. That's the direction we're going to jump in the entire time. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just we'll go through number one really quick. Okay, I'm not going to have you do this on your own because they kind of gave us the answers. And it kind of takes away all the fun. But I'm going to explain it really quick. I'm going to have you try number two on your own in just a second. So what's our first number here? It's 4. So we start at the 4. Okay, you can just put your finger on the 4 on the number line in your book. And then what's our second number that we're taking away? It's a 1. So all they're saying is you jump back one space and we landed on 3. So that's where they got that answer. 4 minus 1 is 3 because we just started at 4. We jump back 1. Now let's take a look at the next one. We have 4, right? That's our starting number. So we can put our finger right on the number 4 on the number line. And how many are we taking away? 0. 0 is nothing, so it's not moving at all. So our answer stays 4. So that's where they got the 4 from, okay? So for number 2, uh, we're going to separate this into two little sections here. So first thing, look at the first number. That is your starting point number. Go ahead and point at it. The next number is how many jumps. So we're starting at 6 and it's minus 0. Go ahead and solve this on your own and then we'll go over it together. All right, so you should be done by now. If you're not, hit the pause button, take your time. So let's do this together. Six minus zero. So we start at six, because that's our first number, okay? And how many jumps? Zero jumps, we're not moving. So since it's not moving, whatever number you're on is the answer. So for us, it's six, because that was our starting number. 
So 6 minus 0 is 6. Okay, let's do the next one. 6 is our starter number. Okay, it's where we're starting on the number line. And then we're taking away 2. So go ahead and find that 6. Put your finger on it. And now take away 2. I'll give you guys a few seconds. All right, should be done by now. If not, as always, just hit the pause button until you're ready, then hit play. So we start at six, and we're jumping two times, because that's our second number. And which way are we jumping? Are we going that way or backwards? We're going backwards the whole time, because we're taking away. And when we take away, we have smaller numbers. So let's jump two times. Ready? One. Two and stop. We landed on four. So now we know that six minus two is four. See, that's all there is to it, guys. That's it. Uh, this time I'm going to have you do all of number three on your own. Do nine minus five. Nine is your starting number, five is your takeaway. And then also do nine minus three. Go ahead, do both of these problems on your own. Okay, if you're still working on this, pause the video. Take your time and work on it. And then when you're done, hit play. If you're all done, maybe you're a very quick mathematician, uh, we're going to go over each one together. So let's go over this one first, okay? 9 minus 5. 9 is our start number. So we put our finger on 9. And 5 is how many jumps we're making, right? And since it's a minus sign, we're jumping backwards. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, and five. Now I stopped because I made five jumps and I landed on four. So nine minus five is four. All right, now let's go over the next one. Nine minus three. Okay, so again, we start at nine. You put your finger on it. And we're going to make how many jumps? Three. Three jumps. And we're jumping. Are we going forward or backwards? We're going backwards because we're subtracting. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, and three. We stop. We landed on six. So now we know that nine minus three is six. Okay. Um, Let's go to page 79. I'm just going to explain it to you guys really quick, and then I'm going to have you do some independent work completely on your own. Here's page 79. This is the page you're going to do on your own. I at least want you to do problems 4 all the way through 8. Okay? I'm not too worried about number 9. You can try it if you want, but I'm really not worried about it. So you're just going to solve all these subtraction problems on your own, and they give you a number line up top to help you, okay? Just remember, when they're standing uh, top to bottom like this, the top number is always our biggest. That's our starting number. And then the number at the bottom is how many jumps, okay? Go ahead, try these on your own. When you're all done, please put your books on the white table in the back. I will be checking this afterwards. Uh, and just make sure you take your time. Please don't speed through it. I want to make sure I know who understands this and who might need a little extra help. All right? So hopefully that uh, you guys enjoy this and it's maybe a little fun. If you have any questions, make sure you ask me. But please be respectful and polite and raise your hand. Other than that, have a great day, guys. And I'll see you all next time.